Hi again, everyone. Once more, it's Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. Uh, here we are at the end of March, and so the um, February home sales and the January house price data is now out. And I'm just going to give you a little explanation of what is happening there and correlate it to my lumber prices, um, which come out every week. The headlines were saying, uh, home sales and house prices are down um, compared to the year before they are up a lot so uh, February home sales in the US uh, were up 8.2 percent compared to February of 2020 and by February of last year 2020 it looked like housing in the US was going to be good so 2019 was not a good year for home sales, for home building, and for lumber prices. 2018 was a good year. And it normally goes on a, a sort of a six quarter or about a year and a half cycle, uh, sort of, you know, just due to macroeconomic circumstances, lumber prices, um, home building, and home sales fluctuates um, about every year and a half. So last year in February 2020, um, there had been about three months of uh, increases and we were expecting last year to be good. And it was good, but just in a completely different way and for completely different reasons than, I mean, nobody, this is a situation that has never happened before. So um, the house price data um, that just came out in March uh, is for January. U.S house prices in January were up 10% from December and they were up 5% from one year ago, January 2020. Uh, that's a momentum that's not going to stop. It, it, it will continue. Um, house prices and home sales drive new home building. So in my previous video, I was explaining housing starts, which when I said the permits were up in January and February, significantly 10% and 17%, um, the home sales and the home price data is even more bullish for continued activity through this year. I mean, it's not just for one month. It, it's a lot of uh, desire uh, and demand for housing. And so that's the um, Case-Shiller uh, S&P index that I was talking about with the 10% increase from the previous month and the 5% increase from the previous year. But there's another data set that comes out federally for full year 2020. Uh, full year 2020 house prices were up 11% from the year before. Um, and the, um, the FHA, FHFA, housing index also so um, 9% for sorry 9% for federally um, total housing 2020 over 2019 and 11% uh, federally for the FHFA index um, I would expect that momentum to continue as I was saying there's usually a six quarter uh, cycle up and down over every year and a half and um, all things being equal which they are not uh, February 2020 would have been sort of at the beginning of that uh, year and a half, six quarters. So, you know, we're literally just one year into that. And um, without all of the other circumstances of um, uh, change in uh, working from home and people uh, putting um, a lot of renovation and remodeling into their house, even without that, we would expect... Uh, home sales and house prices to stay up at least for another six months from now. Um, so let's have a look at the graphs and I'll explain um, the lumber price situation and then um, housing. U.S. new home sales is the black line and the three colored lines are the benchmark lumber prices, two by fours, western spruce, eastern spruce, and southern pine. As you can see from the beginning of 2019 and definitely in 2020, this correlation is very strong. So we have that moving along uh, until the beginning of 2021. A little bit of a drop there in the home sales as um, the winter weather came on. And you would expect 
that to correct coming into March and the home sales to be following where the lumber prices were going up just then. So U.S. new home prices uh, median is the black line and again the same lumber prices as the previous graph. You can see this uh, correlation is not quite as obvious however at the end of second quarter last year there was a pop in the home prices which does track quite closely with the lumber prices and now at the beginning of 2021 it's quite close and uh, you can expect again the home prices to rise as the lumber prices are rising in the coming months we'll find out but for now that is the good news great and so to put these last three videos um, at the end of March together you have plywood prices up 190% compared to one year ago so compared to March 2020 uh, you have OSB prices up 250%, 256% uh, compared to one year ago. And you have Dimension Lumber prices up 192% compared to one year ago. Uh, you have Housing Starts up 17% uh, compared to one year ago. Sorry, Permits are up 17% compared to one year ago. Single Family Permits are up 12.5% compared to one year ago. Home Sales are up 8.2% compared to one year ago, and house prices are up 5% uh, compared to one year ago and are up 10% compared to the previous month. So the momentum of this is going to continue. The um, single largest cohort of uh, new family, uh, so, sorry, this, the largest cohort of new home buyer right now is millennials. Um, and we're just at the beginning of that generation. There are more millennials than there was baby boomers. So the front end of uh, that generation is turning 30 and is entering the home buyer market. Um, the home building uh, was depressed, was underbuilt uh, from 2008 to 2018. Um, that was a result of the um, fiasco of the zero negative interest mortgages that uh, lost a lot of people their homes and tanked the U.S. economy for quite some time. So the correction from that is happening. The demographic is in the favor of uh, more building activity and home buying and home prices and all of that stuff. And the pandemic changes to society uh, that we saw last year uh, in 2020, starting sort of like in April, May um, through the year is continuing now, will continue through this year. Um, there's too much momentum for that to just stop. So people are asking me, you know, when are prices going to go back down? What's the top? What's going to happen? Um, prices are not going to go, lumber prices are not going to go down anytime immediately or potentially this year. I'm not saying they're going to stay as high as they are right now, but they're not going to go back down to what they were even one year ago, never mind two years ago. Um, as for next year, that's hard to say, but I think any reduction, any sizable reduction in these this data that we're seeing right now would not happen until, like, let's say, December, so you won't see it until February of 2022. So... Check back often, subscribe uh, to the actual newsletter on my website, um, subscribe to these YouTubes, uh, visit my website if you just need to see a small snapshot. And during April when the um, March uh, housing starts and the February house prices, home sales data starts to come out, we'll get a better picture of post-winter uh, into the normal building season and um, where the activity actually is.